is can I use my KDE uh, applications or my KDE uh, environment applications as nicely and as cleanly as it did on the KDE side with Plasma? And the answer was yes. It just appeared quite exactly the same way. Yeah. No, and the, the, you're right. Basically, and I think they're going to make more of a push of that with KDE 5. I think KDE 5, they're going to make a real push for oh, we're yeah. this, not this. Yeah, let me see, you wrote me a message. When I say KDE 5, and I know loads of people say it, he was very um, pedantic about it. He says there is no KDE 5, there is like KDE, like Software Framework 5 or something. They don't want to call it KDE 5 for some reason, even though some journalists do call it that. Um, and, and I think that the, uh, you have to remember, I, I think the KDE has got some very, very good applications, even some that aren't being quite uh, well maintained anymore. I mean, some of them like Knode, for example, which allows you to use news groups. I think one of the reasons it doesn't get developed so much anymore is because not many people news use. Uh, news well, and so. see that, that that's one of the reasons I hope they're successful with this because if they're really successful with this and it winds up being gone, gone that'll be a whole new wave of oh, I want to make this widget for KDE developers, which will make it that much better, even if. You're using it in a non-traditional way. Yeah, I mean, I, I was just thinking in general. I mean, uh, K3B is a very good application. It's based on the, on a Qt. Well, I, I think loads of people use it for even on the GNOME desktop environment. They would use K3B. Uh, and I'm trying to think which other applications. I don't think many people would use Admiral outside of KD for whatever reason. Maybe just yeah. don't it quite so well. Uh, I mean, I. I, I think the real reason is, is because it's ultimately dependent on um, MySQL. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, which is, it's a software limitation, but I'm not sure I'd solve it. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, there was another application they tried to base on, 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 on actually quite a few of them, have been kind of database-sized, uh, you know, certain things that could be uh, fit quite neatly on a uh, text file. Uh, even things that could use uh, very simple SQL programs, and uh, uh, even um, you know, even, even just the ones that are based on text files instead of actually blocks of data and tables and stuff. Uh, they try to make everything very modular to the to the point where things are becoming very interdependent. Uh, and I updated my Debian box today, and and and, and in the process of the post, uh, I was surprised that actually it post. Uh, uh, Postgres SQL on the on the machine itself, and the process was halted. Apparently, it needed a reboot to actually kind of wake up again. Uh, and interestingly, I think also in Firefox, they used to use what's called the Mork file. Uh, I think some people had issues with that. Maybe it wasn't very robust in cases of crashes, or uh, I'm not sure what the issue was. But they're trying to move to databases that have all those mechanisms built in for backing up or for distributing loads and stuff. Uh, but in the process, they make it quite bloated, and they make it very... Yeah, I, the latest versions of Firefox, that's... I, 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 For those of you who are just joining us and have no idea who I am or my opinions of Firefox, I love Firefox. But as of late, I'm starting to fall out of love with Firefox. Yeah, I'm saying that. Uh, <laughs> uh, which version do you use? I'm the one I, 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 I've been going with their insanity, so I am on, you know... <laughs> but, uh, yeah... <laughs> You're, you upgraded to seven. Yeah. <laughs> the one and, and, and I'm noticing I be like the bloat. I can do far less than I used to be able to with my Firefox, and yeah, that was the whole reason I used Firefox. It was a plugin, yeah. Well, no, I I can't run as many tabs. I can't multitask like I used to be able because it because it's so bloated now. It, it just it it starts bogging the whole system down. All right, then that's one of the reasons I wanted to leave Firefox, and then. I, I, I rushed back to 3.6 now, and I have 3.2 in one of my machines. I, I'm just, I really don't want to move away from it, because it's got all the plugins about... I, I've collected plugins for Firefox since 2004, so some of them don't work anymore, obviously, but some yeah. of them are still like a nostalgic kind of... I look back and say, oh yeah, I remember, I didn't used to use that. And it might actually make it work if I just change the thing with the text that it for it, maybe we'll be able to force it to work in some ways. Um, but when I... When I try and look back, actually, I, I don't like Chromium either. It kind of scares me, to be honest. I think it's a. Uh, I mean, I, I have mixed a bit of Google and stuff. I, I have mixed feelings on Chromium. Uh, 
uh, overall, it's a good browser, but I have the same mixed feelings you probably have about the Google factor. For me to really trust Chromium, I would have to stick it inside of something else that sandboxes it in individual sessions. With, with like a different IP address and like a whole different like country or something. Well, no, I wouldn't be that paranoid, but basically, um, I, I, I would need the ability to sandbox individual things I'm doing in, in Chromium from each other because I don't want it phoning the Google mothership and giving that stuff no, back, so I'd have to sandbox it. it out. As soon as you go to the address bar and you just like type in it, I think another the thing, if you, even if you move the mouse a bit, I'm just like, hmm, I wonder if Google is going to be interested in that. Because you know what the Internet Explorer used to do with the uh, search results? It used to kind of. Uh, yeah, I know. For, yeah. I mean, you, it's hard to tell, but in Chromium, it's kind of open source. You, you think that, but the, as soon as you start typing things, you know they kind of track these things. And, and later on, I like, in, in, I just like go and search the web. I found somebody's like Google Plus profile, and then I like, you know, by accident, person like the front page, which I didn't intend to do. And, you and know see, what that, I that's the, the thing. Page. That's one of the main reasons I want the sandboxing because I don't want to accidentally press something and add it to the wrong Google thing, which is going to get very easy to do in Chromium, and I'll never be able to unadd it, and I'll have screwed up, and I'm like, no. <laughs> I, mean, I was one button away. It goes to the front page of Google+, Plus just to give you a description. It's got my name, it's got my photo, it's got everything in place, and it's got this big, major red button saying, join Google+. Plus. I said, oh, I didn't even ask, and they already fill out the form for me, just say, click here. And then there is like this thing below. It says kind of like read the conditions or whatever. It's just like oh, I wasn't even interested. I wasn't even looking to join. Well, and, and no, that, 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 that's the thing. I'm like I'm, I'm sure plenty of people use that feature in Chromium. But like when you start typing something, it, like you're saying in forms, it's like well, we think your address. It's like it's like it's auto filled it all out for you, and it's like okay, I'm officially creeped out now. <laughs> It can be valuable. I think most people will just trick it to stuff. Well, you know, it, it, we should look at this the same way. You remember when Firefox first started remembering passwords, and everybody's like, no, 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 don't let Firefox remember your passwords. It can be hacked. And, it's like, and, and, and now we've got our passwords so complex, we have people creating, you know, your master password account that remembers your passwords for you. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Which also, I tried to find a way around that for... Sometimes what, what, what I found difficult in GNOME, for example, was setting up for a user uh, a mechanism for not having to enter the password for the Wi-Fi every time she logs in. Uh, and it wasn't very simple. I had to go to like groups and I have to like change into administrator and force it to basically remember the passwords between sessions as well, which isn't very safe, but you know that's what she wanted. So. Uh, yeah. and in any case, uh, the, the situation with all this remembering of things, I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't care so much about the uh, the, just the privacy in itself. It's just that I, uh, I feel like I'm also sometimes I'm looking for a very specific browser feature, like the book, the bookmark or something like that, or like paid source. And I don't quite find it. It's just like it's a bit too simple for me. No, the, the, that's the thing. Chrome and Chromium. I, I mean, heck, they just added print preview in version 14, and it's not on by default. You have to know to go into flags and turn it on. I mean, that's so. It, it's there, there's stuff like that. Yeah, it as it matures, I think that stuff will come, but it's away from being fully matured. So it's one of the reasons I'm really annoyed with Mozilla because I'm like, Mozilla, stop, be Mozilla, you don't try it, and be Chrome. <laughs> you know which version they went to with uh, Thunderbird? I think they're very. I already have the beta out of version 8. I'm still in 3.1. I, 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 I know. I'm very much behind. I'm not very much behind. It's pretty much the same features. But uh, it's just uh, it's just crazy in terms of the numbers. I, I used to try and defend the numbering system, but I, I think the main issue now is with plugins and stuff. And I, especially for advanced users who do have like 20 or whatever plugins. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I, I verify my plugins work before I upgrade, but the bloat. More than that is what's getting to me. I'm like, I'm so sick of this. <laughs> well, it used to be worse. I think before version like 3.5 or 3, it actually used to be worse. And it would sometimes go out of control. Firefox would take like a gigabyte of RAM or something. 
and yeah. just try to ace the uh, benchmarks. And the benchmarks you don't measure how much RAM you take. Very few of them do. Some of them do. So you can just check speed. So what do you do? Well, you just use your RAM, you cache everything, and you say, oh, look, you know, we are number one. And then you show you the uh, number of the amount of memory you took and say, oh, one gigabyte, oh, no big deal.